Hey guys and welcome to another BMS 4.33 F18 Hornet tutorial. In this one we're going to be covering LGB or laser guided bomb implementation. So you can see there, there's the uh, laser guided bomb, uh, the big one <laughs> on the left and right wings and you can see that it has a laser uh, finder on the f nose of the weapon there. It also has fins just like uh, our or a GPS guided bomb so it can actually steer towards the target and basically this is just a, a package that fits on old World War II bombs like Mark 82's, uh, Mark 80's and things like that and it enables the bomb to steer towards the target. All right. So just to talk a little bit about uh, LGBs uh, they're great for moving targets because your TGP here uh, shines a laser down at whatever it is that you're looking at so if it's a moving target for instance it's gonna it's gonna get an infrared uh, lock on that on a truck or a tank or something like that, and then it's gonna shine that laser on the target as it's moving. So as long as it's shining on that target, the bomb should be able to see that laser and uh, track it, and then actually hit your target. All right. So that's that's really cool. Uh, GPS guided bombs, on the other hand, you know they're only meant for a specific GPS coordinate. And uh, there are some new uh, JDAMs, which are laser JDAMs, and they actually have the capability of, of hitting a uh, GPS coordinate and also seeing a laser. So there's a few things that we have to do to set up. Obviously, we want the master arm on, and we're going to go into uh, air-to-ground mode. Okay. On the SMS page, we want to make sure that we have our, um, our GB-16s selected. Or, uh, yeah, the GB-16s and the uh, 38 here is the the laser JDAM which I don't think is actually implemented in uh, uh, in the Navy yet I think they're testing it on the Super Hornet but I don't think it's actually been put into service the F the Air Force is uh, experimenting with it and I think it might be in service right now as well and those are the uh, the bombs on the on the right there those little uh, JDAMs with the laser seeker on the front so let's um, so let's select our G, uh, GBU 16s and we're going to put the TGP on obviously uh, I'm in black hot mode as always is my preferred method and we're going to go ahead and select our uh, target so we're not going to use CCIP we want to use CCRP for any uh, guided weapons for the most part um, pretty sure you can actually deliver JDAMs in CCIP if you're flying over the target but um, we won't talk about that in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and select the the uh, TGP by hitting uh, DMS down or, or data management switch down and then we're gonna hit our pinky switch on the fighter stick to zoom in. Now you can also use the range knob on your throttle. Uh, this is the same thing that you would use for the FCR uh, in air-to-air -air mode. So let me just go ahead and go to air-to-air -to -air mode and you can see that I'm zooming in and zooming out. So our radar, uh, you can see I'm at 10 miles scan, 20 miles, 40, okay, 80 miles and 160. And that same uh, switch, it's called your range cursor. You may have a cursor, you may have a, a four-way switch like I do, or you may have an actual knob, uh, but that range knob is what's going to control the range. And y if you look at the TGP, you can see that our range is uh, magnified 4x all the way down to 1x. All right, and then our pinky switch is going to switch between wide and narrow view. All right. So let's uh, our first target using the uh, steer point switch that I have. See the steer points changing here uh, on the HUD. There, I'm going to select waypoint 12, which is our first target, and then I'm going to narrow that view with my. Uh, with my range cue, my range cursor. And then once we're looking at our target, you can see that there's a little bit of, uh, uh, it's supposed to be on that center target, but there's a little bit of cursor slew. And one important thing to remember is whenever your TGP isn't looking at the right target, you always want to DMS, or excuse me, TMS down, which is target management system down. And then you want a cursor zero, which is this CZ right here. And it's going to return you back to where you're supposed to be. So let's say I, I move this somewhere and I cursor zero. It's going to take me right back to my pre-designated waypoint. Now all of these targets are uh, pre-designated. In other words, 
uh, they were selected on the uh, briefing screen and I've selected uh, I've selected certain steer points to be targets okay so let's go back down to uh, to 12 and what we're going to do is using our cursor on the throttle and I don't know how you have this mapped we're going to move this around okay it's the same it's the same uh, switch that you use to move your cursor around on the radar as well same exact thing alright so we're going to move this around let's cursor zero and I'm actually going to go up to the uh, to that center target and I'm going to TMS up and you can see it got an area lock, but we want a point lock. All right, so now that we have a point lock on that target, you see we can move it, and it's just going to point lock anything that it detects for the most part. Well, it lost lock there, but for TMS up, you can always get a point lock. All right, so we don't want an area lock. An area lock is really for that area within this bracket here. Uh, and, and it is usable. The, the bombs will still drop, but you really want a point lock if you're, if you're tracking a point target. Alright, so now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and turn towards the target. And I'll demonstrate the drop. Alright, so there's a range ahead of us at our 11 o'clock there. And you can see we're at uh, 16,000 feet. We're 473 knots calibrated. And we're getting an in-range cue. So you see the circle pop up here. And, um, and this, this fall line starts to fall. This horizontal fall line will start to fall. Now the first one is always going to be for your dive toss, so just remember that. Ignore the first indication. And then we're going to actually shoot for the second indication. So we want our flight path marker to be right on that fall line. Alright. And you can actually use the autopilot if you want. And then about three seconds out, you want to uh, hold down the, uh, the pickle button and consent to release. All right, and you can see that our laser is not firing down here. All right, so we're just on an IR point lock. The bomb just dropped. So there's a very important thing that we have to do uh, to set up, which I actually forgot to talk about. But uh, before you drop any laser guided bombs, uh, typically on the ground or when you fence in, right? You want to um, you want to go into your laser page. So you go list. And then you go uh, zero into miscellaneous here. And then you hit five for the laser. You can see laser right there. And our laser code is going to remain the same. But we're actually going to change this from training mode, which is, it's always going to be training mode by default. You want to hit the zero key to change the mode of the laser to combat mode. Okay? So that's the first thing. It's going to flash for a little bit, indicating that it's changing. And then once it uh, finalizes it's just gonna stay steady all right the second thing we want to do is get our laser arm on as well all right now obviously you're gonna do this before you drop the bomb uh, when you fence in or uh, when you're inbound to the target area so if that's not in combat if it's in training then it's gonna fire a training laser or not a laser at all I believe and you obviously have to arm the laser in order to uh, let it shine down on that target so once you do that you want to fly a stable profile Alright. still the, there's the laser. Uh, so once you see the uh, laser flashing there, that means that it's lasing that target. Okay? And this 21 down here, that's the time until impact of the weapon. You also have this little uh, this little uh, dot right here, which will descend down towards the target, kind of indicating where the bomb is. And once it hits the center of that, it should, should impact. Okay? Let's follow the, uh, the weapon here for a little bit. You can see the bomb steering towards the target. There's our aircraft up there. And uh, let's try to keep it nice and stable. I'm going to select it. I'm going to actually zoom out all the way so we can see it. There's the direct impact on that. The uh, laser still designated for a few seconds until uh, after impact, and it'll eventually uh, eventually stop. So let's take a look down there at the range, and there's our impact back there. So you can see it's very accurate, pretty easy to implement once you do those two things. Uh, and I'll talk about it again. So, so <laughs> just as a refresher, uh, you want to go list, then zero. 
then 5 to laser and then you're going to scroll down to the uh, this air to ground mode and you're going to hit 0 to get it from training mode over to combat mode and then of course you have to uh, arm the laser as well uh, don't forget to TMS up to actually designate the target a common error which I do a lot is you know I know that I have the target pre-designated uh, as a pre-designated target to a steer point and I'll assume that you know everything's good to go and it's locked on but you still have to designate it with the TGP or else the laser's not going to fire so remember you have to TMS up on whatever target that you're, you're wanting to hit and uh, remember ideally you want a point lock unless you're you are targeting an area target like a uh, you know maybe a big bunker or something like that or a group of vehicles in one location um, you want to do a point target if you can alright so that's basically LGB implementation with the changes in 4.33 uh, the big the big changes are that that laser mode that you have to change um, and so it, it's pretty much the same as 4.32 with uh, some very minor exceptions alright guys hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll see you guys next time